Well, yeah, middle of October here. It's actually almost the middle of the day, almost 11 o'clock, although I gotta be honest, I don't quite feel awake yet. But it's a really gorgeous day for working with trees out. It's cloudy, about 75, but it's dry. We haven't had rain in a while. There's no rain in the forecast for a little while, so I'm out here watering some stuff. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk about some things that have been happening in the nursery. And so in a minute, I will flip the camera around and we might do some voiceover of me just looking at some of the trees and what's going on. But I've started to lift some of my first trees from the air prune beds uh, this season, you know, first for this season. So it's still a little bit early. If I move the camera, you can see we still have a lot of green leaves on all these trees. So in my opinion, uh, still early to be moving these trees. I'm not really, I haven't opened up the web store yet for sales and distribution of the trees. But I had a, you know, a group that really wants to get some trees out right now. They have an event where they're giving away a ton of trees uh, in Durham and in the Triangle area here in North Carolina. And so I'm happy to try to support that. And we're pulling some plants, pulling some trees for that event. And since I really have no control over when, when the event is, I think it's okay. You can definitely get away this time of year, middle of October in this climate with pulling trees if they have leaves on them. It's gonna stress them out a little bit. You know, it'd be ideal for the trees if we could wait until they drop all of their leaves in a few weeks. But they've already started to go dormant. And as long as you give them good care, keep them watered and hydrated, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the fall and then into the, into the spring, they'll be okay. So yeah, lifting trees and I've been, I've been pleasantly surprised. A lot of these air pruning beds are look, you know, the roots coming off these trees. I'm really happy with how they look. Trees are, uh, yeah, they're just, they're looking happy and healthy and I'm, I'm excited to be, you know, all season long, I've been watching what's going on above ground and observing, right? Reflecting on, you know, do I think they like the soil? Are they getting enough sun? Do I think they're getting enough water? All these sorts of things. And now it's, it's very interesting and fun to be able to look at what's going on below ground, what's going on with the roots and kind of correlate what I've been seeing in the leaves to the, the health and the, the structure of the roots. So it's just been fun and rewarding. Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's just rewarding to dig these trees up and get them ready to go. So I want to show you some of the, uh, some of these roots, what they look like when you pull the trees out of these air printing beds and how I'm packaging some of them up uh, to go out. So this is a little bit different than if I'm going to, you know, I'm packaging these up to go to someone local. And so if I, it's a little bit different than if we're packaging them up to ship them out in the mail. Um, but yeah, so I already pulled most of the trees that I'm going to pack up and send out, but I don't think I took, I took a lot of pictures. I can't remember how much video I took. I, I did a lot of the tree picking actually the other day. And so this is a bed of mostly American persimmon, but there's been this one walnut in here, black walnut right here. And I'm just going to see if we can yank them out without disturbing a whole lot of these persimmon trees. I think I might need two hands, maybe a little shovel, but I'll get this out and I'll show you the roots. Some of the trees, like some of these persimmons, you can literally just grab them like this and pluck them out. I mean, they're so easy to pull out. Um, I'll show that the next time I'm grabbing trees out of here. But like I said, I'm just gonna grab this one black walnut for now. I've got pretty much the rest of the order is ready to go. I don't need to be packaging up any more trees right now. All right, real quick, let me give an example here. Let's see. See these persimmons right here? That's how easily they come out. Now these persimmons are rather small. This one here in the middle, you can see that one, the roots don't look as good. Hold on. Boy, this walnut had a really deep root down in there. Look at this. Can't even get the whole thing on in the one shot. Let's put it, it's almost as long as the bed. You can see this nice big old tap root, all these fibrous horizontal branching roots. The walnut itself above ground, almost two feet tall. 
So the walnut are, and, and the persimmon there are a good example of both ends of the spectrum of what can happen uh, in these air pruning beds, depending on how happy the trees are and also depending different species kind of have different habits as far as how fast they grow in the first year. And while I'm talking about this, we're just kind of looking at some of the other plants that I have put together for this order. And you can see I've just kind of bunched them up into these pots. They're very temporarily stored here. You could see this as healing in, you know, you could store them potentially all winter long like this. You might want to insulate around the pots with some leaf bags or mulch or something to prevent really hard freezes around the root zone. But you could, you could definitely store the plants throughout the winter bunched up like this. But like I said, they'll only be in here for a few days before this giveaway. And, you know, they'll be parceled out and given to individual individuals uh, and couples and families and whatnot in Durham, in and around Durham. And hopefully they'll be in the ground and not too long anyway those persimmons are, are the very small end of the spectrum you could see a lot of them not only were were the plants above ground small but the roots below ground were kind of small and they were easy to dig out uh, but i'd really prefer for them to be bigger in the first year i'm going to play around next year with a little bit of a different soil mix for the persimmons and giving them some more spacing but the walnuts are a great example of you know that's what you want in an air pruning bed. You want that nice, thick taproot, all the fibrous horizontal roots. Um, that's what you get. I mean, most of the walnuts that I dug, if, actually, I think really all the walnuts I dug looked like that. A lot of the oaks looked like that. They just looked really good and, and big, happy, healthy root systems. I think a lot, most of those persimmons, I mean, they're still good trees. They'll survive. I think they, they would do good with another year in a nursery setting or if they were planted in the ground, you know, with a lot of care, a lot of mulch and compost and watering. Here's a red maple I dug out of the ground and you can see very different root structure where the roots go horizontal almost immediately. And I think part of that is because red maple generally don't have super deep, uh, you know, they tend to be more of a branching root structure, I should say. But also they were planted in the ground, not in an air pruning bed. And so there is a compaction layer that I did not remove. Uh, I just have been piling on organic matter and this is the first year that that bed has really had production, so. Anyway, that's a little update on what's going on in the nursery. I'll, I'll try to make another more detailed video soon as I really start digging out more trees and, and opening up shipping on the website. I am taking orders on the website right now, but I won't be shipping probably until at least November when the trees fully go dormant. And uh, here at the end of the video, we're looking at a nice evening primrose flowering and supporting some pollinators here in the late season. I've been getting a lot of seeds off of these plants and I'm looking to expand um, their populations here at the nursery because I just really love having them around. You can see the seeds falling out there. So yeah, hopefully you're out collecting seeds too and uh, digging up and transplanting trees. It's a really good good time of year for all that. If you have access to lawn areas, you know there's always there's tree seed falling all over and and now is a good time to be transplanting trees. So you can be digging up free volunteer trees in the yard, stuff like that. It's a really exciting time of year. Um, we're, we're about to be getting into peak tree planting season and. It is a lot of fun, and we're definitely we're, we're moving into peak peak seed season for trees. You know, there's nuts and persimmons and things falling all over. It's craziness right now. Yeah.